<laughs> here in LIT in the Gaelic grounds with Dublin manager Mick Bone. Uh, Mick, so through to the uh, National League final uh, after seeing off the challenge of Mayo. Uh, how did you see that one? Yeah, like I mean, genuinely, we, we would have come into this and I felt that it was going to be a huge contest. But I think the goals put the daylight and, you know, all of a sudden they probably lost their shape, their defensive shape, with they've, which they've obviously put a lot of time into. And we drew them out. So, um, but the experience of some of them, like, I mean, it just the, the, the good decision making of some of the older players is just key to us being successful. So we're proud of those things. Um, some great passing out there today, particularly foot passing, you know, uh, right through the whole game, you know, some some excellent ones in there from Siobhan Colleen and a number of others. They, they, they've really been working on that aspect of the game. Yeah, and, and it's, look, we're proud of the way we play. We're, we're not just trying to win games, we're trying to play the game uh, and play it in a way that people get enjoyment between players playing it and people watching it. So that's part of what we're about. As I say, goals win games. Uh, for today again, um, some really good team goals and uh, the penalty from uh, Sinead Ahern there in the second half. Yeah, I thought she was outstanding today. Uh, what a leader for this group and, and, and back to as good a footballer as I think she's been playing since I came here. So, look, we're delighted with our day's work and we're looking looking forward to what's coming. Uh, it's Cork in the final next. Uh, everyone looking forward to that one. Uh, another big challenge ahead. That's a huge challenge. Yeah, look, we know how good they are. And some serious scores there today. Uh, and in fairness, like Donegal are decent, very decent. We know that. Uh, but there were some big hitters, uh, and some of the scores. So I was watching it on the phone on the way down. Some of the goals were outstanding. Uh, Kiro Sullivan's on fire this year, and Saiv uh, uh, O'Leary is causing an awful lot of problems for defences. But Cork, or Cork, they, 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 you know, there are teams who know how to win, and they know how to win. Uh, it's back to Crow Park for the first time since the December. It'll be a little different. It was like a ghost town back then. Uh, there'll be some fans in for the next one. Yeah, amazing. Like the uh, com- the commemorative um, the commemorative scenes on the hill was kind of ghostly. Even uh, obviously we were delighted to win in All Ireland, but uh, it, it was eerie. Um, and this time we're obviously going back to crowds, but particularly their families who've essentially been locked away. So, you know, you'd be delighted for all those people now get an opportunity to go and see them play. Uh, a lot of games uh, one week after the other. You get a two-week break now, but, you know, it's hard on the players' bodies. Arlen Nolan seem to be moving well there in the first half. It looks like she picked up a knock. Yeah, a few of them. Like, I mean, a few tired bodies. I mean, Lindsay got a dead leg. Um, Arlen Nolan, I think, twinged her hamstring. But, you know, it's, it's tough. It is tough. Like, I mean, obviously, they're delighted to be playing games. But I, I, I think this year, just because they didn't get the work done they would done and have done in other years we're getting a lot of soft tissue injuries but look you know we'll recover now and a little bit of extra time helps all right mick thanks very much and best looking to find you're welcome thank you all right